Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Mortis here, and welcome to World of Warplanes. That's right, they have come out with a new update. It is called 2.0, and it uh, effectively makes the game not bad. Like, I remember when I played it in the initial stages of it and was not impressed at all. It was about the same time I was playing War Thunder. And I just couldn't get into it. There was something not right about it. The way the planes flew, the way that the action held, it didn't feel right. But they've done a overhaul, and it feels better. It's not... I still wouldn't put it as high as War Thunder, but it's better. And I've been actually having fun with it. I played a little bit, as you can see. Uh, I've got mostly Tier 2s and 3s because I've just been trying to get acquainted with it. And I also wanted to have more than just Tier 1s to show people because, yeah, Tier 1 biplanes, not always fun. So, with that in mind, we're just going to roll. I just now unlocked the BF-109B, which is a Tier 4 fighter. And... We're just going to go right into it. It is unmodded. It is just stock. But we'll see how it goes. So, uh, yeah, let's hop right in. So what I find most interesting is the fact that they brought in a respawn system where up until, I think, five minutes remaining in the match or somewhere around that time, uh, you were able to actually respawn and rejoin the fight. It is a ticket-based system, as per usual. It has captured the objective points and hold. You know, it's pretty par for the course, but I've actually been having a good deal of fun with it. There is a faux first person, which is basically this. It's just a zoom-in version. Roll. This guy's got a little bit of zip to him. I like it. So basically what you have to do is you have to capture points, and the way you do that is by taking out these planes. They are defense planes. We're just going to dive right in on this guy. Use a little boosty boost. Alright, he's down, so we're going to go for the next one here. So one of my biggest complaints when the old version of this game was out was that the, the planes basically flew like tanks. Like, they were slow to turn, they were slow to maneuver, they just didn't feel right. They feel better now. There is still kind of this Tokyo Drift thing going on every once in a while that feels weird. Oh, by the way, we captured that area because we took out all the defense drones. Uh, but, all in all, it feels better than it did before. Uh, it appears most people are going to be going over to that archipelago over there, so we're going to go that way. Yep, they're going to airstrip, so let's go to airstrip. Uh, you have a finite amount of boost, which will overheat your engine. You can lose your wings, you can lose your engine, you can lose your pilot. There are different classes. There is the fighter, the multi-role fighter, the heavy fighter, the bomber, things of that nature. Uh, they are already starting to try to take this over, so we need to go over there as fast as we can and take out any of the uh, enemies. Now, it's going to be hard for me to explain everything that's going on because I'm still kind of learning as I go, so... Just bear with me and enjoy the dogfighting. That's about all I can say. Alright, so we got someone coming from over there. We got a guy down there. Alright, so we took out that. Uh, we need to... We need to help out with this. Let's go. Ryan will help out with this instead. That is a heavy fighter down there. That is no longer a heavy fighter down there. That guy's dead. What else do we got? Alright, so we took this place. Oh, we got a bomber coming in. Oh, and I bumped him. Ramming attack, destroyed enemy aircraft by ramming him. I really messed up my wing, though. So if you look at the health bar down on the bottom there, as long as I'm over a friendly airfield, that bar will slowly reheal up to that point. Uh, my wing is pretty messed up right now because of what I just did. It will recover over time, there it goes, but it's going to be partially operational at all times. I'm waiting for my uh, health to come back. There we go. And now we're going to get back into the thick of things. There's somebody up there. 
I'm gonna boost right up to him. He's kind of up in the uh, in the sun, so I can't see him very well. I might actually stall out before I get up there, but I'm trying. Nope, he's swooping back in. In fact, I want to take this guy down. I assisted! I did a thing! I helped! Alright, so it's gonna be dangerous over here. As you can see, there's a lot of red. Because that's our last base of operation. That's also their spawn point down here. We do have bombers coming in on this line here, which is pretty good. But we're gonna have to be careful here, because I'm probably gonna get messed up pretty bad. Which at this point is fine, because then I just get to respawn. Uh, who do we want to go after? Who do we want to go after? We're going after Eugen. Nobody behind me yet, but I'm getting AA fire, so I got to be careful here. We have complete control of the skies. Nice. Way to go. Wow, we even took that base. That's crazy. After a while, my weapons do overheat. But not until you die! And now I got a company. Victory is in sight. Trying to yeah. outmaneuver. There we go. Ah, but there was others. Too many others. And now, while we wait for that to prepare, we go into cinematic mode. He seems to be slightly on fire. And he's lost his engine. That's the thing that happens. Alright, so let's take a look at our mini-map here. Nobody... Okay. Great job today. Wow! We'll be waiting for you back home. Wow, we didn't even get to the squall line. That's pretty impressive. So the squall line is what happens. That's basically how you cut off reinforcements. It comes at a certain point in time. And then you can no longer respawn. A minute victory. I usually do better than that. I was pretty bad off on that one. Uh, so that's got me 2425. I could do the engine or I could upgrade. I need uh, more weaponry, so I'll jump on that. I'll go ahead and slap that on down. Purchase and mount. There we go. Um, I guess we'll do the first engine upgrade as well. All right, then we will move on to our next plane, which will be this big burly beast right here. Why not, right? Let's do it. Uh, so I have 693. I need a lot more before I can get better upgrades. Uh, so yeah, let's drop on in. So the heavy fighters are interesting. They are not maneuverable at all. They pack a decent amount of punch, but generally they're better for taking out targets, like uh, stationary targets, than they are for taking out planes. But they do have a rear gunner that you could actually take control of. The problem is when you take control of it, and I will show you in four, three, two, one. You are approaching the front line. It means you're flying blind, and you can only turn. You can't go up, you can't go down, you can only turn. So it takes a little getting used to. Right. So we're going to go right on in over to here, and we're going to assist with taking out this capture point. This doesn't have big burly guns, it kind of has cannons. That's one down. I am under AA fire. Not very maneuverable. It does have a lot more boost, though. 30 seconds as opposed to 9. So I can kind of get out of danger a little bit. Let's see if I can turn on this guy here. There we 
go. Subjugator. You have been subjugated. All right, so we got, what, one more? Yep, one more. This guy over here. Flying start. Nice. So this place... Oh, it's not ours yet. There's still one more. Where is it? Oh, I think we have to take out some of the ground forces, too. Which is absolutely fine. Dear God, this thing is a whale. I don't have any bombs yet, so I can't really do much there. Gotta just keep hearing... Oh, there is another one. Look at that. Yes, yeah, stall warning. I know. Woohoo! Boost! Where'd he go? 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 There he is. Toasted! Ah, oh, but there's more! They spawn more! No! Oh god, my pilot! I don't need him anyways. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ah! Alright, we got it. Good. Good, good, good. Oh, but they're here! One down. Yes, turn into my direct line of fire. Perfect. Ramming speed. <laughs> I lost an engine. Up, 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 up. Nice. Come on, engine, get fixed. I believe in you. Can't really increase my speed too much. I only have one engine. There we go. Get back up there. There we go. Whew. All right, we need to get some altitude here. Use all the boost we can get here. Go and assist over there. Oh, my big boat is hurting. Some explosions happening over there. My one gripe so far is, and you can't really see it like this, but you'll see it when. Uh, it does some sort of stylized camera. The pilot looks ridiculous. Like, it looks like a toy soldier. Now, I understand that that's probably not the thing that you would most likely, you know, put the most effort into. But it doesn't hurt to make it look at least a little more decent. All right, rear gunner, take him. Shit, weapons have overheated. Come on, come on down. There we go. I got somebody on my tail. Rear gunner, go! Rear gunner. Take the shot, man. Oh, I am having a rough go of this. I am hurting. 
Okay, we're looking good over here. Look, oh god, they're collapsing on us over there. Oh, the squall line. I almost think I should take myself out just so I can get back into a full health. Do you read me? Over. Oh, this is this is a tough decision. Obviously, taking myself as n out is never the best idea, but at the same time, if I can come back at full fighting strength, maybe I would be a bit more useful. <laughs> That's it. There's no way to break through you now. Not too You're late. On your own. I am way too low. Both my engines are messed up now. This is bad. Gotta do as much damage as I can. Ah! <laughs> There's no way I was maneuvering out of that one. Let's face it. Oh. That's gonna be a close one. I don't know where that one's gonna end. But I'm unable to do anything, so I'm just going to go ahead and go back to hangar. Now I'm going to take out the money-making machine that I don't know why, but I have in my uh, stable. It's kind of like the low or the Type 59 where it just prints money. Which is what I need because I have more planes to buy and they're getting expensive. So yeah, this is the I-15 BIS DM. It's got two little jets on it for whatever reason. Don't know why. But anyways, let's hop in. <laughs> the the thrusters just make no sense to me. But I'm not going to question it because there may have been a perfectly legitimate reason at some point. Uh, this is the oh, this is the three line. All right, this is going to be interesting. All right, I'm going to break off and go to this guy over here. Off we go. I hope others will join me, but it doesn't look like it. If I'm the only one going, I may break and go center. I think I may break and go center here. Yeah, nobody else is going. Let's do it. Oh, damn, they're all coming straight in, too. All right, all right. Not quite in range. There we go. Yeah, just stay straight, stay straight, stay straight, stay straight. Thank you. Think you're gonna turn on me? I got jets! <laughs> Booyakasha! And we took it. Somebody's taking pot shots at me. Who dares? Woo. Trying to ram me. I seriously need heals. We need to get, we need to clear these guys out so I can heal. Ah! 
Oh, his gunner, his rear gunner got me. Son of a biscuit. Ugh. Cinematic mode, yay! See, look at the pilot. Look at the pilot. Hang on, camera going around. Look at the pilot. Oh, <laughs> they didn't want to show it. Fair enough. Uh, yeah, let's go over here and help with this guy. They're oh, they took the center. Crap. Oh, they're halfway to taking this one as well. Boosty boost. Generally with this plane, I'm in the top three of the damage. Right now I'm the top one of the damage. How are three people out? Are they, oh, they must be responding. It's okay, everything's fine. How about, what the hell? Hello? All right, this is gonna be rough. I'm the only one here. Nope, there's one other here somewhere. Yep, A8, that's what I was worried about. Really? All right. Be gone with you. Ah, the AA, the AA is killing me. Ah. And in the end, it turned out to be a heavy uh, fighter. He's got front... Oh, man. Not good. Not good. Our team is just getting walloped. Turn, man. Oh no! Uh, Alright, here we go. Oh good! Hey! Hey! We got two out of three! Good job, boyos. Now I gotta put some more damage in because I'm lacking! I am falling behind! I must just bludgeon them. Alright, we need we need a combined force to go over into that area. We're not gonna be able to just do it. We need we need more people. And we just don't have enough people yet. You coming this way, champ? Yeah, you're coming this way. Two of you! Alright. You guys deal with that one. I'm going for this guy. Yeah! Go and give a hand on this one. There we go. 50% superiority. Good stuff, good stuff. Yeah. That's right. Fly right in front of me. Yes. Yes. <laughs> hey, where are you going? Get back here. Ooh. Trying to take me into smokestacks, huh? Roger that. Ah, uh, somebody's trying to be sneaky beaky. You can't handle none of that. Coming at you, Kodiak. We have complete 
control of the skies. Way to go. Way to go. Victory way to go. Way to go. All the goes. Way. Don't bomb my planes. He's got too much speed on me. All right, I'm going to jump up here. Oh, hello. You gonna come down here? <laughs> That's right. Rank number one. Let's go back to the combat or back to the hangar rather and check out the stats. Victory. Oh, we lost that one. Boo. So, there is a couple of different... Mo my, my biggest complaint right now is there aren't enough maps. There needs to be more maps in rotation. Because I keep getting the same two over and over and over again. I hope that they get that sorted. However, victory. We got the flying start. Destroying three aerial targets. Effective fire. 5,000 combat points. Subjugator. Grade 3 Fighter. Yeah. Not bad. Not bad. And a buttload of money. Which makes me happy. <sighs> so, with that in mind, I thank you for watching the inaugural episode of World of Warplanes. There will be more, because I am having fun. I really am. So until next time, adios.